It may sound impossible to live in a volcano, but some peculiar animals have done it. Animals which can survive in boiling hot volcanic vents around volcanoes are known as thermophiles, and they are usually pretty strange creatures. The vast majority of volcano dwellers live under the ocean, and many of them are prehistoric. There are also some newer animals which have recently evolved to survive this dangerous and scalding environment. Here are 10 of them. Number 10. Sharks. Wait, what? Someone needs to make a shark volcano movie now. In recent years, a number of sharks have been found living in and around volcanoes under the sea. A team surveying the Kavachi volcano in the Solomon Islands got a huge surprise when they found sharks swimming in the caldera. Kavachi is one of the most active underwater volcanoes on Earth, and the world was mystified. The water's cloudy appearance here is caused by sulfur and metals from the volcano. Not only is the water extremely hot, it is composed of a very strong acid, which should kill any life that comes near it. The volcano also erupts regularly, warding off most sea creatures. The hammerheads found swimming here are a common and well-studied species, but scientists do not know how they are surviving these dangerous waters. Researchers speculate this may be a new phase in the shark's evolution. They have also been joined by the rare Pacific sleeper shark, who also shouldn't be able to live in a volcano. The locals have dubbed the area a shark ano in honor of the courageous aquatic animals. Studies continue on the renegade volcano sharks. Number 9. The Polychate Worm The Polychate Worm is a strange creature, even before you factor in its volcano-dwelling ways. They are one of the most successful species on Earth, in spite of the fact you've never heard of them. These guys are tough. They appear to be capable of adapting to any kind of underwater environment imaginable, including boiling thermal vents. They are essentially just a worm with one leg-like appendage which helps them crawl around the seafloor, a throwback to some of the first animals to ever evolve. They are over 500 million years old. They can be found hanging out with their tails inside of hot vents, with their more vulnerable heads poking out to look around. Their bristle-like ends are made of poisonous spines, which is one of the keys to their success. Anything that tries to eat them dies, making them basically untouchable. They have also developed something called bioluminescence, meaning they glow in the dark. They come in all kinds of beautiful colors and sizes. They have survived five mass extinctions so far and will probably still be here when we're all dead. They were most recently found in the undersea volcanic ridge of Kermatic off the coast of New Zealand. Polychate Worm Day is the 1st of July for anybody who wants to celebrate our undersea overlords. Hey, real quick, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Give this video a like and hit that subscribe button for more videos like these. Number eight, Lava Cricket. A tiny cricket with a tough reputation, the lava cricket lives among the volcanoes of Hawaii's Big Island. Called Uhini Nene Pele in Hawaiian, they are almost the only creature on Earth that lives on lava flows. They can survive the harsh and barren environments created by the lava as soon as it begins to cool. These minuscule bugs are only a centimeter long and have simple needs. The lava fields are too harsh, hot, and devoid of life for most things to survive. There is very little water here, as rainfall evaporates on contact with the cooling lava's hot surface. These hardy crickets live off drifts of dead plants, seaweed, and sea foam and happily skate along the lava surface. One big upside of living where nothing else does is that nothing can come along and kill you. These little bugs have been left to happily breed in large numbers. Although they are tough, these crickets can't actually do much. They are wingless and they don't make any noise. Nobody has any clue what they do when the volcano actually erupts, and scientists are still studying the creatures. We know little about them because they are hard to catch and it's difficult for humans to navigate the lava flow safely. Number 7. Crown Jellyfish On the face of it, all jellyfish are pretty weird. Some people don't even classify them as animals because they don't have brains, hearts, or lungs. They are actually a form of zooplankton, and they can clone themselves by splitting in half. The crown jellyfish in particular is almost 99% water, and when they wash up on land, they mostly evaporate in the sunshine. This rare, plume-like jellyfish live at enormous depths and are typically blue or purple. They have a crown of glob-like horns which give them their name. They can grow up to two feet across and have extremely long tentacles which catch small creatures. Due to how simple they are, they tend to be amazing survivors and can float around at enormous depths with no real light and little food. Powerful creatures with fascinating bodies, these guys look like a cauliflower when they bob through the waves. A new and unidentified species of crown jellyfish was found to have evolved to live inside the underwater volcanoes scattered across the Pacific Ocean. Number 6. Loihi Shrimps 
You'd think that shrimps living in a volcano would at best result in delicious barbecue, but many species of shrimp across the Pacific Ocean have learned to feast at volcanic vents. The Loihi shrimp live in the volcanic seas around Hawaii and actually use the volcanoes to hunt. The area around Hawaii resembles a massive underwater graveyard as animals are caught in currents and thrown into the volcanoes where they promptly get turned into charcoal. Perfect food for the hungry shrimp. Piles of squids, fish, and other less hardy crustaceans roll around the volcanic slopes into the waiting arms of the Loihi shrimp. Hawaii isn't the only place these guys are thriving. In the Western Pacific near the island of Guam, scientists were surprised to find increased volcanic activity actually lead to an increase in the amount of sea life in the area. Most creatures can't stand the toxic material present in the water, but these shrimp feed on the unusual algae that thrive on the underwater chemicals released by the seismic activity. They have specifically evolved pruning shears for claws, which they use to skim the algae off the volcanic rocks. Protected against predators who cannot venture into these waters, these tough little shrimp have created a crustacean metropolis under the waves. Number five, snake stars. Snake stars, also known as brittle stars or ophiroids, are unusual creatures found living in volcanic vents. They can be distinguished from starfish by their circular bodies, which makes them look a bit like underwater spiders. They are called serpent stars because unlike starfish, they move in a snake-like fashion with surprising agility. They hunt by wrapping themselves around coral and picking up any debris that floats past. They typically live in the deepest parts of the ocean, where there is no daylight, and at least 60% of these species glow green in the dark. Their simplicity is part of their success, as they have very few needs. They have no eyes, just a small mouth and highly flexible limbs. They use their spiny feet to smell creatures in the water. Clusters of these tiny beings often live on undersea volcanoes. These poor little stars are called brittle for a reason and are sadly preyed upon by many species. As with many other volcano dwellers, their ability to survive extreme temperatures has shielded them from predators. As a result, they are increasingly found clustering on the ocean's poorly explored volcanic ridges. One survey of a volcanic ridge off the coast of Australia revealed several millions of them hanging out on the seabed. The area has been named Star City in their honor. Number four, crabs. There are quite a few members of the crab family which have evolved to withstand volcanoes. The most famous of these is the squat lobster. In spite of its name, squat lobsters are actually part of the crab family. The albino squat lobster in particular is a ghostly white crustacean with strange characteristics. These guys are not only albinos, they are also blind. Yet somehow, they have managed to survive and even become a symbol of the Mediterranean island of Lanzarote. They live in the 15,000-year-old volcanic lava tubes around the island and seem to thrive in difficult places. They have recently been found almost 4,000 meters beneath the waves, hunting in and around volcanoes off the coast of New Zealand. The squat lobster isn't the only crab that can withstand volcanic temperatures. The Pacific hairy crab, a new find among volcanic-dwelling crustaceans, appears to only live on the volcanic ridges on the seabed. Almost nothing is known about this insane-looking crab, which was only discovered in 2008. With fluffy hair and red eyes, it is possibly one of the strangest crustaceans around and was recently found crawling around the volcanic Kermatic Ridge in the Pacific Ocean. Number three, tube worms. Tube worms are bizarre, otherworldly creatures that love volcanic mud. They also like to form little colonies on cooled pillars of lava. These crazy worms can live up to 200 years and grow up to six feet tall in huge clumps. In spite of how they look, they are actually animals, not plants. They have a little anchoring foot they use to cling onto things and wait for passing prey in the form of microscopic plankton. They can be identified by their little red tufts, which are the gills they use to breathe. They can metabolize carbon dioxide, which makes them immune to the dangerous gases released by underwater volcanic activity. They have no stomach, eyes, or mouth, but instead use a special organ to convert carbon dioxide into carbon. Tube worms love volcanoes because they can use methane or hydrogen sulfide for energy. Fascinating. These strange organisms often live specifically on mud volcanoes, which are composed of vents in the Earth's crust where superheated mud is pushed out by boiling jets. Most creatures get roasted here, but not the tube worm, which lives quite happily on the scalding gunge. Number two, scaly foot snail. The world's most hardcore snail, the scaly foot snail, has an extremely hard shell and claw-like foot with an amazing grip. This snail feasts on the microbes that live on volcanic vents. 
the snail is unfazed by low oxygen levels, acid water, extreme pressure, and the crazy heat. This snail's super tough shell can withstand a lot of abuse. Its outer layer is made of iron sulfide, making it quite similar to a metal helmet. Similar to a knight's armor, part of the shell is arranged in plates, allowing the metal-glad snail to move freely across the ocean floor. The armor is actually created by the snail itself, with help from the volcanic vents where it lives. Particles of carbon, which rain down onto the ocean floor, are a hazard for most animals, but useful for the snail. The sulfur dioxide these vents produce transforms when it hits the bacteria on the snail's back, transforming it from poisonous gunk into solid iron. This snail produces these bacteria in a special gland it has, one which is 1,000 times larger than most other snails. By moving to volcanic environments, the snail has learned to survive. The scale foot is the only animal on Earth that we know of that builds a metal exoskeleton. Rock on. Number one, tardigrades. Tardigrades, one of the world's smallest and strangest animals, are almost indestructible. These microscopic beings are truly bizarre. They have eight legs and a circular sucking face, and they resemble a space alien cross with a tiny bear. They're actually kind of cute. These minute creatures live in every environment on Earth, including under the sea and in the frozen Arctic. They have been found at some of the highest points in the world, on mountain ranges and at the bottom of the deepest parts of the ocean. They are also just about the only living thing that won't die in the vacuum of space. The secret to their survival is that they can turn into a sort of hardened shell called a ton, which can withstand crazy climatic conditions. They can also survive for decades without any food or water. They frequently lie in volcanic vents and inside mud volcanoes. They have been found to withstand temperatures of up to 304 degrees Fahrenheit. After a volcanic eruption, when lava destroys an area, tardigrades are always the first life form to come back, able to handle the red-hot cooling lava flows. Some scientists believe that tardigrades may actually be aliens due to their incredible survival skills. It's possible they hitched a ride on a falling star. One day when the world is destroyed, there will only be tardigrades. Thanks for watching. What do you think of these bizarre animals that live inside volcanoes? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.